All right, guys. So first off, yes, I know my yard needs mowed. Uh, for those of you who are just stumbling into this channel and don't really know the history, um, I drive that commercially. I'm gone for two, three, four weeks at a time. I come home and then I take care of all the honeydews, such as the yard work and whatever other projects. Um, however, if you've been following this build series, you know, that's been taking all of my free time. So, got in last night, and I, I had this all cleaned out, and now it's a giant mess again because I finally finished those panels and those USB chargers and got those headlamps in <clears throat> and then got up this morning and ran the wires for that charger and mounted a fourth headlamp. That's what's in those gray bags is headlamps. And they're all charging off the Suburban. And you'll see why that's coming in a couple weeks. Then if you follow my main channel, Fair Winds and Following Seas, uh, on Instagram, you'll see that we went out today as Memorial Day is tomorrow. And um, for those of you that aren't aware, my club is a, a, it's a club made up of veterans and first responders. So Memorial Day means something to us. Uh, it really hits home for a lot of us who've, I mean, most of the people in the chapter have deployed uh, some multiple times, seen, done things that maybe they wish they hadn't, but whatever, that's not what we're talking about. Um, so Memorial Day means a lot to us. And we went out and walked the cemetery and stuck a flag in the ground at every veteran's gravesite who did not have one. Then I came home and jumped back into this. Now, I'm running so hard on this because I'm running out of time. Uh, I've got four days left, right? Yeah, I got four days left to finish this, and there's a lot to do. So, got up this morning, finished those headlamps, so they're all charging off the truck, outstanding. Went and did the veteran thing. And now, back here, to cut this up, because, as you will see, whoever built this front bumper, and it's definitely homemade, <clears throat> when they put the winch on there's not any supporting bracketry so it's just these welds one on each side and that's it one good sideways pull and that's coming off so i'm gonna cut that into little triangles and we're gonna do one two three four and then mirror that on the other side that should stiffen that up some at least enough that it's not going to explode on me uh, also have to make some standoff brackets for that so that the light bars can mount properly because right now they can't. So I'm going to get to that and I'll see you in a bit. Good morning. Welcome back. And here we are. Uh, finally shut her down about 9, 30, 10 o'clock last night. Got all eight gussets cut out, kind of cleaned up got all eight of the extensions brackets cleaned up and this afternoon taking the suburban over and having a buddy of mine weld all those up for me so that's good now if you guys remember a few videos ago a couple months ago i did that uh fixing a transfer case for free because i thought my transfer case was eating itself and then we saw where the output for the front drive shaft was smacking the cross member right and i just took a couple pieces of steel and wedged them in there to see if that actually solved the problem and it seemed to but i don't want a wheel like that so i went and got a one eighth thick one inch wide block of aluminum cut it down to size punched a couple holes in it i just finished marking the rest of the holes on that one i'm gonna drill them out and then we'll jack the transfer case up. We'll take those scrap pieces out and we'll put that good quality spacer in there. And this one's just a little bit thicker than what's in there now, so that should be good. Then, that's 
as far as the fabrication, I have to look at my list again, but I'm pretty certain that's it. Um, after that, it's just basic service, you know, fluids, filters, plugs, wires, cap, rotor. Uh, I got air cleaner and a spare one. Um, and then it's sand it down and paint it. Uh, I set myself a very unrealistic goal. Whether you want to look at the things I said I would accomplish or the timeline I gave myself to do it while still working. Somehow, lots of late nights. Um, I'm, I, I've been able to get it done. So I'm going to get back at this, uh, get that transfer case thing done, and I'll probably pick up with you guys when we get back from having the welding done. So I'll see you this afternoon. Man, what a mess. So for the last four days, well, I did take a little bit of a break to do the, the flag thing on Memorial Day. So three and a half days. I've been out here under this thing, in this thing, running around, doing... All sorts of great stuff. Now. Nope, that's still wet. So I just painted that. I can't open it. Uh, I did a little bit of interior work that I don't think I put in the video yet. Uh, if I did, sorry. But I made some little panels and stabbed USB chargers into them. And mounted up headlamps for everyone for this trip we're going on. Got everything wired up. Everything's running flawlessly. Did every fluid and filter on this thing front to back. And when I took it apart, the transmission, uh, noticed one of the bolts was snapped off. First I thought it was just missing, and then after I got the pan off, I realized that the bolt was up in the case. So awesome. Uh, and they stripped out the bolt for the filter and the throttle body. I was able to get it back in there, but it's not in like it should be. So that'll have to be addressed later, but I'm on a time crunch. I don't have time to fix that now. Then I put it together and drove it over to a buddy's house and he made, well, I made the gussets. He welded them in for me and the standoff spikes that you'll see later on the roof rack. Now, the reason I did the gussets was whoever made this bumper, uh, just the only weld holding the winch to the bumper was a vertical weld here and a vertical weld here. And if I pull at an angle uh, with the winch, that's, that's not gonna hold. So now it's got eight of these three inch long, whoop, three sixteenth thick, gussets. I figure eight of them probably good enough to hold. Uh, then today I came out here and fixed the leak in the transmission so it's great and then I started sanding and I've been sanding and sanding and sanding all day. Uh, this all this black is primer. It's something I found um, a lot of uh, off-road guys are using as a primer and quite a few of the race crews for the Baja 1000 and it's this steal it not sponsored not paid I paid full price for those but so far I love that stuff the way it lays on the way it it does dry really quick um, and it's supposed to be super strong because it's actually stainless steel I don't know how they managed to make it an aerosol, but whatever. So I went through and everywhere that I sanded down and I saw bare metal or what maybe could have been bare metal, I hit with the steel it. Had a little bit extra, decided I wanted black wheels and that should hold up to the sand rolling around and did the exhaust tips. Uh, also the inside of the gas door because I've said before, I'm painting this. It's not going to be red anymore. 
as far as the color you'll have to wait and see um, I'll probably put it at the end of this video probably most likely it's gonna end up at the end of this video probably I'll do a big reveal of the the Suburban when it's all done but I got new corner lights new turn signal lights I'm gonna get new headlights because these are terrible I took the brackets out so that I could paint them and got all the grill pieces black uh, didn't do this one yet because this piece is going to be body color and then the rest of the grill will be black so that's where I'm at that's how far I've gotten on this tomorrow she's as you can see she's masked off tomorrow we shoot color and I'm hoping I can have all the painting done tomorrow reassemble it Thursday and get this big reveal for you guys anyway we'll see you in the morning just kidding you guys don't get to see it yet not till it's done but we're all masked uh, just finished laying the second coat and <sighs> fighting with the air compressor really really fighting with the air compressor it uh it's not happy it's it's over 90 degrees and it keeps overheating because i just have a little little pancake compressor so now it's in the house and the family's thrilled but it's not overheating uh, i'm also not working it as hard now i think i'll probably end up doing a third coat and then we'll start on the next step the second cup well, third color start on the third color that is going into this thing and the wind's starting to pick up i already got a little bit of crap up in the hood because of it so that's awesome and i don't know if you can see it in the camera or not but yeah great anyway i i'm committed i mean i i gotta finish it so it is what it is i guess Anyway, I'm gonna get back at it. I'll see you soon. All right, she's finally done. Uh, I know I didn't document all of the work that I was doing like I wanted. And <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I had myself on a tight timeline and well, I didn't have time. But four months of hard work, every spare minute I had just about being thrown into this thing she's 95% done couple little things I still want to do but she's done she's ready and in 21 hours loading the family up and we're taking her on her maiden voyage and we're gonna go see how capable this thing is off-road ladies and gentlemen I give you boa All right, so there she is. Uh, now I haven't really, like I said, gone in depth with everything I've done for this. So let's do a quick rundown front to back of what I've done here. Uh, when I bought it, it came with this bumper. It was chrome and pitted and rusted. And then this was some sort of really faded black. Uh, so retextured it all in bed liner and I mounted these lights around. Now, the reason I did that is because I wanted that light, but all of these came as a package. So I figured, why not? Uh, replaced headlights, turn signal running lights, and all new bulbs and all of, all of those as well. Painted the grill, uh, painted this to match the body, and that's pretty much it in the front. Now, in here, I extended the brake lines. It's got 488 gears, ARB lockers, air lockers, and new steering box, new drag link, tie rod, ball joints, tie rod joints. The whole front end's been rebuilt. I bedlinered this rack that was all 
rusted and fallen apart. And then, as you guys saw in the light video, it's got these all the way around it. <clears throat> Inside, I added a CB, the eight panel switch to control the air compressor, the air lockers, and all of the lights. I also installed these LED lights inside for interior lighting and all four seats have one of these hanging from it now. Mine's down there, passenger, and the back seats are next to them. Uh, those are it's like 500, 600, some stupid bright headlamp. Um, and you'll see why in the next video. In the back, when I got it, it had two blown six by nines. I turned those into the bracketing for the headlamp with a USB charger for a phone or a tablet or whatever else. I put four six by nine speakers in along with a new amp in the back. The rear got new brake lines and 488s and ARB locker. <clears throat> and as far as the performance upgrades or capability upgrades, that's it. Oh yeah, and uh, both front calipers are replaced. So one of them, the bleeder was rusted uh, to the point that it was just starting to crumble when you tried to crack it and the other one was completely froze. Now, cosmetics. Obviously we've got, this is that steal it. Um, I showed it earlier, I think. Yes, maybe, I hope so. If not, I threw away all the cans, so sorry. S-T-E-E-L-I-T. -E -E it sprays out amazing, it covers great. We're gonna see how durable it is over the next couple weeks. Uh, so we did that. This is the actual color that the Marine Corps uses to paint their Humvees. I found the company that provides the paint and I ordered two gallons of it. Turns out one gallon did three coats and I had a little bit left over. <clears throat> um, I couldn't find replacements for these because I was going, you know, with that fresh, clean look. And the only ones that I could find were amber or whatever, and I wanted clear. I couldn't find them, so they just went black. I think they're stupid and pointless, whatever. Uh, this line all the way down is all bed liner. This is that Raptor liner. I tried to use it here, and then as you can kind of see right here, the gun started screwing up, and I just went to a duple color spray on bed liner, which, as you can see already, is not holding up so well, so we'll find something better. I did the steel it on the wheels. I did the steel it on the exhaust pipe. Uh, yes, I know I've missed a couple spots. There's a couple little blemishes. There's a couple imperfections in the paint. A, this is my first time painting a car. So why not start with a giant land yacht, right? And B, um, everyone's short on supplies of everything. So I had to make what I could get stretch and I inadvertently missed a couple spots. It is what it is. Remember, this is something I'm going to take off road, bounce it off rocks and trees, and I don't care. I just wanted it to look decent. The only other cosmetic was since I was doing all of those lights I found these and the other ones were cracked and faded and kind of not really red anymore so I thought these looked really neat grabbed them threw them on we'll see how they do and we'll keep our fingers crossed anyway I'm going to get back at it because now I've got to A, finish cleaning up on my mess and then B, I've got to start packing because as I said and I think now we're down to about 20 hours. Uh, this thing's taken off and we're hitting the road and we're gonna go see how capable it is. So if you have enjoyed this, you're not gonna wanna miss the next video. That's coming out in about a week. I'll see you guys then. Take care and have a great day.